and to give it again to give us a starting point. I've got a few goals. I've got some that uh, that has been discussed in the past. We need to, we need to just look at some of those. Uh, some of them are very relevant to what we've talked about here. And then we need to see if, uh, if we can all answer the question that that's before us. And, uh, and in that way, we know that we'll have some, some consensus about the direction that we need to take the steps. Is the goal time based? And, and yes, the answer is. And is the 
it go short? That's one year or is it long term? I'm going to go as far out to say that it's short term. That's the six months. With, with a hyphen and long term. But we will be looking for a long term solution. Permanent solution. Which would be our short term to get it in place is kind of a file thing where we come back and get it. To me, it's adjusted. What do I need? I just want to make sure we set staff up to where we can, we can track it, we can, you know, all these things that we're talking about. And, and at the end, that we can go, yes, this was something that was achieved and the success was. I think, yes, once, I think once we get this information, we've got a two staff, and then they assess with, along with their notes and with their participation. I think then that they're going to be able to come back and formulate this into basically a gold statement for the commission. That would be adopted? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, absolutely. We would actually adopt these, adopt it officially that these are our goals, short-term goals, long-term goals, and this is what we're going to make on. Make it clear so the public knows exactly what we're thinking and the direction of where we're thinking the community needs to go. Again, it all, it can always be changed. Is this the first year that's been done as far as adopting goals? They may have done yeah. We've always talked about goals, but here, here's, and I don't, I don't mind saying this. <laughs> Two years ago, we kind of had a mixed bag of commissioners, and things began to kind of change very rapidly. Um, after that two years, and so the goals were very difficult to set because we really couldn't get or a firm foundation with everything. So we were just kind of struggling through and everything primarily was issue-based. We were resolving issues as we went along without a whole lot of planning, long-term, short-term goals. Again, that's what we did. Uh, now, um, we, we are moving in with new commissioners. But the difference is, is that we have the potential for a lot longer set of stability than what we're, what we're looking at and where we're headed. I mean, if any of you guys are ready to run for some other higher office, we're in pretty good shape. <coughs> and, and so I think now we can begin to focus on some of these and make sure that we all are kind of the same. same. I don't mean that negative, I just mean, I just mean that by saying that that's kind of where we were, some of the issues that we have to do. So it, it, it is past time for us as a commission to give staff some good, solid goals that are attainable, or either if it's a goal that we want to attain, they can come back to us and say, listen, this is going to take a lot more time than we think it's going to take. You know, give us that feedback. Let us know what's going on. Okay. Uh, I put down as a goal also here, um, and I think that uh, Mr. Charles in his presentation had, had uh, alluded to this, is, is a concern with um, ambulance service and the need for some additional infrastructure to be able to better serve the North Lounge area. I put down here as a goal is that we need to move forward with uh, looking into an addition to the Bemis fire station. Uh, where we've gone with that so far, I had asked staff uh, a month ago, a few weeks ago, to begin to look at that and see if, number one, if it would be the doable. In other words, would an addition fit on the current property? Uh, and is that something that would take place? Uh, they have done that. They have gotten some information, some preliminary information back. Of course, one of the issues, if you're familiar with it, you're looking at the fire station, the only area you could add to on the right hand side of the fire station is property blank or the property. Edge. However, currently, the septic system is all on that side of the building. However, we have water and sewer now going down beams with a tap right there. So it's a matter now of just abandoning that septic system tapping on the county water and sewer and go ahead and put an addition on that fire station which will allow for uh, 
two men want to staff people to be stationed there and an ambulance. Um, my conversation with Mr. Sauls has been very, very positive. He is concerned enough about providing the service that they're willing to make an investment into that as well. Um, and so I think we need to move forward with that. Opposition to it. Well, that's it that way. If there's no opposition, then I can assume that, we're, that we can all move forward. All right, so is this goal specific? Yes. And it is. Is this, how is this goal measured? Um, Let's just say um, it, it is or it isn't. Yeah, it is or it isn't. I mean, it's either it's done. I'm just going to put it all there, but I think I'm going to move forward. Is the goal the thing one? That's yes. Is the goal relevant? Yes. That's definitely yes. Is the goal time based? I'm going to say yes, and I'm going to say that it would be a short term goal. On the time base, we need the time. Kind of, Six weeks. Well, I think we can move forward as far as we can get the information of whether or not this is the information to be able to make the decision that we want to move forward with. I think Mr. Pritchard, based on the work that they've already done and the budgeting process, that can be done in what, in 60 days? Okay. Just for us to have the information of whether or not it's good.
next one I've got is a study on for adult drug courts and a study for adult mental health courts. Um, <coughs> I think, again, I wouldn't have wrote it down if I didn't think it was a goal or something that we needed to get additional information on. No different than the well systems to see if, it, uh, if we could justify and make a decision about whether we wanted to, to look and move forward with something such as this or whether or not there was something we needed to do it all. Um, so is it goal specific? And that's yes, and that's provide information. How is the goal measured? It's measured by the information provided. Is the goal obtainable? Yes. Is the goal relevant? Yes. Okay. Is the goal time <coughs> um, Long term? Long term. All right. So if we give, if we give staff <coughs> a direction on getting information back, we're just going to leave that open and we're going to say that this is long term. Okay, broadband capacity and speed improvements. 
Uh, as we discussed with that, uh, the technology is changing so terribly much and so quick, uh, it's difficult to say that this is what you need to do. The expense of doing something today has been said. To do something today is going to technology is going to be outdated and uh, becomes useless in five years. And so again, uh, is broadband capacity and speed improvement something that we want to keep as a continued long-term goal, continuing to work on this issue and continuing to stay on top of the technology, but at the same time being prepared that if an opportunity comes up to take advantage of an opportunity is something that we're going to be willing at that point in time to seriously consider. I'll say this. I would to look at the goal to uh, continue to look into broadband uh, so is that goal, is, is, is there a consensus for that? I don't, I mean, if you don't, nobody, if anybody yeah. says it's not, I'm just trying to move it along. <laughs> How is the goal measured? Uh, is the goal attainable? And it certainly is, but it's basically information based at this point. Is the goal relevant? Yes. Is the goal time based? Um, uh, long term. It's a long term issue, goal, but it is uh, it, it's a time based, and yes, I'm going to just put on here as information is provided. I think mean, it's measured by keeping, by keeping up with information about what options are out there. Yeah, as information is provided. Is provided.
And so that makes that a short term goal. To get that information. Fair enough? Okay, I wrote another goal down and I did because at that time there was a consensus on uh, tax assessors um, about whether or not we wanted to move forward with the referendum uh, to have those assessors uh, appointed rather than the current way, which is the, the current way elected. I think we're all agreed on that. I'm just asking you yeah. to come back around here. Point tax assessors places. So the goal is specific, and that's yes. Uh, how's the, the goal measure? That would be through um, referendum approval. Is the goal attainable? And that's yes. Is the goal relevant? Yes. Is the goal time based? Um, I mean, you know, we can either, it's whatever the referendum would get applied and whatever would be able to put it on the General election. Whenever. And you want to make your selections the best. So whenever. Is the goal time based? And, and yes. Um, I'm going to say it is a short term. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Finish that one. Yes. Sir. Are we going to go around? 
Yes, sir. I'm just trying to see here if we've got anything else on our list that, that we had. I think I think that I believe that we had on our list we've addressed everything. Um, there's one here that, that that we have, but I don't necessarily really believe it needs to be a goal because I think that this is something that that we all should play a part in. Um, and this is continuing developing good relationships within our community with other elected officials, other local governments. We know that we're never going to be able to see eye to eye on every single issue that's out there simply because we do have opposing positions on many, many things. Uh, and a lot of it is always connected to some sort of monetary connection. But I still do fully, 100% believe in the fact that you have to move forward with good relationships. Again, that's the best thing for the community. We have to be able to sit down face to face with each other and either say yes or say no and be willing to do that. <coughs> if we get to the point that we're not willing to even sit down to discuss the issue, then that's when we have a problem. And so I think that rather than actually put that in there as a goal, I think that that is a responsibility that each commissioner should take as their own goal, their own personal goal, to always continue to work with your representative, your representative area of municipalities, your representative opportunities to work with different groups and different organizations for the overall benefit of Lounge that's just, that's my take on that. That's, I don't think that needs to be set as a goal. I think that should be a goal that each individual commissioner themselves personally needs to take. That's not a step. Definitely not. Makes sense. Okay. All right. That, as far as everything that I had in my take out of the <coughs> address, is there anything, Ms. Evans, I'll come to you first. Is there anything there that we haven't addressed that you need to you not know, have, have a, a go to? I mean, I think 
think, I think we're doing a good job of that. We've come out of the gate doing a good job of that. But I think it, and I'm not saying that necessarily needs to be a goal, yeah. but I think we need to really stay connected with that and make sure those appointments are given. Awesome. My take on that, again, as I said earlier about community involvement, I think that, that certainly is, many, is a goal that each individual commissioner should take. They know what their time is, they know what they can do, what their interests are, what their abilities are. Um, and it, it, should be a, it should be a goal that each commissioner sets to again be involved. That's representation. If, if you're not involved with anything other than just going to the meetings every two weeks, then you're not really, in my opinion, not really representing as you should. Being involved in the community, looking at some of these things, you don't have to go to every single one. Just, it's amazing at what happens when you just pop in. Uh, it, in most cases, it's very, very appreciative. We're glad that you're there. They're surprised that you're there. And a lot of times, they want to know what, what, what's wrong. Do we need to change something? Because you, they haven't had that in the past of a lot of a lot of participation is dropping on the board members. So I think it's important. I'd like to go a little further than that. I think when you appoint someone to a board, every so often, if it's every three months or sometime, they need to come back and give another to the board that is to be a sitting on the board. Because some of them appoint to a board, we never see them until mm -hmm. they come in time again. And they're not held accountable. And they're not held accountable. But I think they should come to you. You know, I will say this if I recall, the, the, the city of Alabama, they had an issue that they brought up during their retreat along the lines that they wanted to look at term limits for boards. Am I, was I, am I correct about that? Now, a lot of the boards, as Mr. Sauls had to come back and explain to you, is, is set up basically with their own bylaws, their own structure, by resolution in a lot of different ways. So you really don't have the flexibility that you might think that you have to say that you're going to impose term limits on anything. I think that. I agree with that. Yeah. But knowing what they're doing, I think that at some point they should come and be accountable and say something to me, you know, more well, than I sit on whatever board and this and so on. Because sometimes you never hear from them with children. Okay. Well, and, and now, I hear what, now I do hear what you're saying. And I think that you, could we make it a goal that, that, uh, and can we, could we give staff direction then that every other meeting or occasionally that they schedule a board and that representative to come to a commission work session and give us a presentation? No, I wouldn't say that. I would think that once we appoint them to a board, they come before us to say they want to be on the board. To come back and share with us. You know, I, I don't want to put that on the staff. Well, it's, That's it's, not, just it's just a letter. It's just a letter request. I think anybody who wants here on forward need to ask for that. But I think even our appointees now mm -hmm. would need to send a letter asking to come and kind of report to the board what's going on. What are they you, doing? Yeah. How it progress? I think that that's a positive thing that, you, that we can do as a commission because, I mean, you, you do inevitably run the possibility of opening up that proverbial can of worms because they might come to you and tell you, I need this, need this, need that. But if they do, then you need to know. Yeah. You know, you need to know. Um, yeah, and then you have to make a decision about what it is. But I do think that there's some responsibility to some of these boards. Uh, that they come, and I'm not talking about all of them, but if it's your appointees, if it's your county appointees, there's a responsibility for them to come before the board. And if you have any questions, or if you just want to tell them, thank you for what you're doing, and the job that you're doing, and thank you for your service and the time that you give to the community, that's an opportunity to do that. But if they have some issues, or if you want to do information specific if you're hearing some out, something out there in the community when you ask them to come you can say this is what the information they're likely to provide when we go. Well I think they're appointed more or less as, as representatives and uh, you know, I hate to use the word 
accountable, but but again, I mean, there needs to be a relationship. They need to see our support. We need to be ensured that they're doing their their very best. I mean, again, like I was telling it was Mark and I were talking yesterday. For instance, I mean, the people that are going to the zoning board of appeals have the ability to say, well, we're not going to require you as a new subdivision to connect the water and sewer, or you as an individual, you can you know you can put a well in versus connecting to our water and sewer. There's some major decisions that are being made by these appointments that we just need to keep in mind that it can be serious business and can have a huge effect. All right, so that would, it, it, would it be fair then to say that we just want to give staff direction that we want to move toward inviting these boards as staff may see the need for, or at least scheduling, let's say, one a month for a board to come and make a presentation or just come and buy and say hi. Maybe the chairman and uh, the board and, and uh, the vice chair, whatever the case might be. Yes, I'm going to get one piece that the county wants to see. I don't see anything wrong. If you look out there and they're not there, then you know what to do. Just extend the invitation to them. Okay. Got it? Okay. Anything else, Tony? No, sir. Is, is uh, correcting that tiller crossing problem out there a goal? Should that be a goal or that something that Mike is just going to put on his list of things to do? Well, I mean, that's a good point. Is that, is that a goal? Is that Short a goal or just a point? Short? I mean, that's a two point deal. Obviously, I, I thought about that, but I was thinking that was more of a current uh, things on the paving list and so forth. That, Mr. Prisoner, give me some help on this. Is this something that, that you would need direction from a gold standpoint? Y'all don't need direction on that to you tonight. To you tonight. There you go. I think. Yeah. I, mean, I, I mean, I think what I understand hey. what Mark's asking about. And once y'all make a determination as to which way you're going, then we would bring that uh, as far as its impact on Spots projects. Well, I think everybody knows what the impact is on a short term fix. We know what that is. We know what the long term is. So if you, if, if, based on your, whatever your decision may be, there's going to have to be both short term and long term. But the short term should come short term. Real short. Yeah. I mean, the short term should be short term. Um, if part of your decision is whatever higher your decision is structured. So I, I think that I think that that's just going to be something we're going to need to look into, but but the commissioners need to have that in their in, in their mind about the issues that are out there and that can we or can we not address it. You've heard a good bit of information about it. Uh, I think that they're they're easily addressed. Those concerns, at least short term fix, is easily or easy enough to address. Probably something that needs to be done anyway. Uh, long term, that has a lot to do with funding and whether or not we're, how much help you can get. We've heard eight and a half, nine. You can get, you know, half of that plus. Uh, there, you know, there's some, there's some positives there. It might not be in the next five years, but it could be in the next ten years. To address it, and that's long term. Okay. So, my concern is, I would want to set that as a goal because not only Mr. Tillman, but others have the same problem that they might want to come and say we set that as a goal for them, so we can set a goal for me. I think that's something that we can deal with as we go along with the zone in the past. Okay. Okay. Yeah, is everybody okay with that? We should just handle it that way. Good. Okay. All right. Anything? Uh, as you all know, I had a town hall meeting. Um, one thing that came out of it, I was at there, um, and I called a, a the veterans uh, in the community as well as other uh, counties. Long story short, um, I was interested in perhaps we stayed, we didn't stay, or coming uh, with this uh, Lowndes County Veteran Advisory Council, establishing that. Uh, this is how that particular county did it. And this is kind of how they worded it, what have you. Uh, I wanted to, uh, you know, ask the commission would we consider this as, um, as something in, in, in the future as a, as a 
way to uh, be abreast with the veteran issues, um, as well as a way for them to address their quality of life. Uh, and, and as a bridge to veterans in our community. We are a military town, so there's a lot of veterans here. Uh, I ask that we uh, at least uh, look at it and perhaps uh, think about it in the near future. Well, I think, and, and um, let me just ask you this, did you have any concerns that if this is something that we added to Moody support? And when I say that, because I, I know there's a lot of veterans, it's like you're an Army veteran, a Marine veteran, <coughs> but at the same time, a tremendous amount of individuals are coming out of Moody that would automatically be affected by something like this. And it, and it, could be something again that would be that would tie right into our military that's support. That's, what, that's, what we're and that's really what we're down to. So, yeah. um, just hoping to be doing the short term. Sure. It's not going to cost us any money. Sure. You know, anything like that. So, um, well, I think this is something staff could take and they could look at it and then see if it's something that is feasible and what the um, basically, as any ordinance says, you have to weigh what the consequences are and what it's actually saved. Um, and then um, move forward with it. This is certainly it's something of a framework I'm thinking here to look at. Um, can you look at it? Thank you, Mr. Um, is it specific? Yes. Is that tangible? Yes. Relevant? Yes. Time level? Yes. And I'm hoping we can have it in, in the coming months. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. I wouldn't really scramble on that one, to be honest with you. I, that's some real chicken snacks out there. <laughs> um, the way. the uh, other thing that I had was uh, just kind of looking at the reality of what we're facing with this bill of transportation. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, I think as a goal, we should be looking at alternative ways of dealing with it. If it's passed or even watered down version passed or anything, uh, I turned it uh, some type of ded dedicated alternative local funding mechanism for transportation offset or capital project offsets. Uh, somehow, let us be researching that now because they didn't just come with this proposal overnight. Uh, something is coming in the near future, and um, we just got to be prepared for it. Yeah. And, and I agree 100% with you. The only, the only where I stand with it right now before I'm willing to take a position on support or oppose, I want to see the bill. I want to see what they're going to vote on. Right now it's still all in the committees, it's still going to be changing. I think we're going to actually see probably the final bill early part of this coming up week. So I, I agree with you 100% is that based on how that bill is going to come out and how it's going to then be determined that it affects Lowndes County is going to then be the position that we're going to need to take just on that bill this year. But at the same time, if the bill is not favorable to us and then it still passes, then how are we going to, what funding mechanism or what we're going to be considering to move on with our plan for paving and infrastructure? We're going to have to look at that. So, I agree. It's, it's when, when is that uh, next round of that coming? It's going to go out of committees. Yeah, exactly. It hasn't mm -hmm. had gone out of committees, but they're expecting it to come out of committees early part of next week. At least the possibility. If it yeah. comes out, then they'll know what the bill looks like, the actual wording, some fixes that they're trying to do, and then we'll know what is the position we need. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Like, 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 to the chair, I think they anticipated the, the feedback anyway, and us to, but they consider this part of the negotiation. They still won't come back with something. They don't. Yeah, they it's gonna be all the time. So, um, and I think ACC can keep us in the break every, you know, even. Yeah, they're doing a good job. Stephanie, did you have something? Instead of time.
That's what it is. That's the reason why we get back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, but so I, I don't know if you remember, but I, I, Joyce was around. We all, we all remember different members of the delegation at some point in time telling us, you know, or encouraging us to go ahead and settle the splash issue because it might not be available in the near future. And so that, that was two years ago, letting us know that, hey, you know, the issue of splash and also is going to be something that of uh, the past or Kind of temperament anyway. So, so you know, we, we know something. You're going to get a lot of information in the next two weeks, I guarantee you. There's going to be a good bit of information that you probably aren't aware of right now that you're going to be getting somewhere. We know my take on that is sitting on the ACCD board and that thing about page disorder. You know, we talk, they talk about that, and just think of how many counties is involved with this washing, and these washings are going you know what, that land and those other places that depend on nothing like that will be them. If they may try to uh, see what to me. I thought they were joking too, but I seen that feel that. It's going to be changed in some way. They've got to change a lot. It'll change a lot. I'll change it. Boy, it's and I, and I, think that, I think that I think that it's going to change to where, you know, will we lose some? I think there's going to be the opportunity as much as anything. Some might lose a little, some might gain a little. Um, but we'll just kind of have to see what the outcome of it is. And that's kind of what I'm at with. I'm not ready to make a you know, personal myself oppose it or support it until we uh, get all that information. My position is kind of like ACCG, ACCG's is at this point in time, and they're evaluating it. That's their position. That's what it's going to find out. The, the, last, the last thing I, I had was, uh, and I, something I spoke with Joe about uh, a couple months back, uh, and, I, and I know it's it, it be within the realm of encouraging, uh, but the, uh, it was brought to my attention that we might, uh, it would be beneficial to uh, encourage uh, Wi-Fi some of our parks, i.e. guest road. Uh, you know, you have those big softball tournaments and everything, and, the families don't necessarily have to do it between games and everything else. And this uh, one guy in the military, he, he does those satellites and stuff, and he's saving like 15, 16, 20,000, something like that. You put a Wi Fi tower or something up, uh, or some kind of link or something, and therefore they can have access to some type of Wi Fi type of activity. Well, see, that's one of the things that, without getting too broad on it, where I'm talking about, about technology, about uh, the internet. If, if the county can look at even our, the, the cell sites, for example, that's in the county, is, is the technology there to where you can go in there and put these uh, wireless routers, and I'm sure they've got them with larger capacities than the ones you've got in your home. Can they, can, is that something that we want to look at so that people at least that was in the general area would be able to have a Wi-Fi connection to that router? wireless connection, which would be something that would help the folks out of Moody or anything like that. So again, that's all part of the makeup of that technology as far as where we want to go as far as Lowndes County with our uh, broadband internet connectivity and speed. We will, and I have always spoken to people with us, Facility acceptable? Is this has that worked out for you? Uh, 
convenience, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yes, all the I, I, I think everything's been great, and I can't wait to this next couple. Because I'm gonna be honest with you, last year we were doing goals. What happens if you miss on this? Y'all won't go. We won't.
please make sure all y'all staff know how much we appreciate y'all making this. This, uh, this was a little bit difficult. We had both uh, this agenda, the meeting agenda, as well as uh, this put together. Um, and you see a lot of work here that's provided by all the department heads, but I will say that uh, Stephanie and Harrison and uh, Paige, especially Paige and Amanda, um, compile all this, all the effort that we need to this is due to their extra hard work. I just want you all to concession on reminders. I could retire and they'll mm -hmm. say that you don't We retire. <laughs> I'm sure you're going to talk. Bye. 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 Bye.